On OnlyFans management, organic traffic sources and organic marketing like TikTok, Twitter, etc. is the best way to get subscribers. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get the most subscribers from Instagram Reels. If you spend some time in the OnlyFans management sphere and like this, let's say in the bubble, you already heard of that. Instagram Reels are going crazy. A lot of people getting crazy subs from that. So I'm gonna give you an entire method on how to do it, start by finish. And in the end, I'm gonna give you the biggest fucking cheat code for Instagram Reels that you probably never heard anywhere else. So stick with the video. Okay, for this video, let's work in a scenario where you only have one account. I know, usually you have like more accounts, like 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, whatever. But in this video, for the simplicity of it and for the sake of it, we're just gonna say you just have one account and I'm gonna tell you how to work with that. First of all, before we get into the actual method, let's just make it clear what your goals are. Your goals are first, to get as many views as possible. The second goal is to have the majority of your audience to be from USA. You don't want any Indian people to watch your reels, of course not. So, getting a shit ton of views from the USA and the third goal, funnel as many of them to the OnlyFans profile in the end. So you actually make money, right? So let's start with the first thing. How do you get a shit ton of views? Which is, I guess, the biggest concern for most of the people. Here's a good system that you can use to get the Instagram accounts to work. For this system, you need some other traffic source already. So if you're starting by scratch, you have to ignore that part. But let's say you already have some TikTok accounts that do pretty well. What you wanna do is the following. You create an Instagram account and you have it private. Just some profile pictures, some bio, but the account is private. You see there are some posts online, but you, don't, you can't see them because it's private, right? What you do now is you link this Instagram account to one of your creating traffic sources, for example, TikTok, and start getting follower requests. People just clicking, requesting to follow. Of course, you don't accept them, but after a couple days, you have like 500 or 1,000, depending how much TikTok views you get. Now, once you're at a point where you have minimum like 500 follower requests, what you're gonna do is set the profile on public and start posting the reels. The reason this works so great is now Instagram thinks you have minimum 500 people interested in your content and they are all gonna watch the first reel you post. So the entire algorithm has a completely different perception of your account than if you would just create it and start posting reels, get zero views, zero views, one view, two views, and it goes on like very, very slow. So this is how you can warm up, let's say, and create the accounts in the most effective way. Now, of course, like TikTok, the quality of your content equals the amount of views you get if you don't fuck up with the content creation process. So I've done a whole video about how to go viral with short form content on social media, how to make the video interesting, how to get the most views. It's up on my second channel, Oliver Smolley, Uncensored. You will find the video. I don't want to cover it again in this video, but just watch it and you exactly know what to post on Instagram Reels. Now, the second problem you had, if you remember, was how to get a USA audience, because 50 million views don't mean nothing if they're all from India. What you want to do is, first of all, you want to do American content. A very, very basic example. If you do videos and there's like an American flag behind you, you will naturally, by default, attract more US viewers. That's just logical. So you can work with stuff like that. Maybe a t-shirt with the US army flag, maybe like something in the background, like I said, or maybe just having like a flag and like waving it in the video. Will it attract that many views? No, but will it attract the right views? Yes. So if you do that in the beginning, your account will be like recognized as US account and it will make you easier in the future to get USA viewers, which will, trust me, improve your conversion, your views, etc. by default. The next thing, and this is where it gets more tricky and also more profitable for you, is you can restrict certain countries by age. The way you do that is you go into the settings on Instagram, on the account, and you just say, for example, every viewer from Poland below the age of 26 should not see my content. You can do that in the Instagram options somewhere. You can, you can fuck around with it and find it, but do this with all the countries you don't want to have on your profile, especially India, Spain, Mexico, Germany, Poland, whatever it is. So that way you just 
by default create yourself an audience that is mostly US. It won't necessarily get you more views, but it will definitely boost your US audience. But that's just two thirds of the way, because the last thing that we talked about was how do you effectively funnel them to OnlyFans? And the way to do that is very, very simple. First of all, of course, in the Instagram profile, you just have the link to the OF in the bio. Not the literal link, but either some snip feed link tree direction site or a cloaked link, so just the OF link with a different domain. There are different ways to funnel them, but if you have the link there, it's enough. The only problem is, and here's where we get to the cheat code that I mentioned earlier, let's say someone watches your reel, he goes in a profile. If he doesn't click the link directly, you will lose him forever because yeah maybe he follows your profile a lot of people do that but he will never watch like a lot of reels from you again and he will never go on the profile again unless you make him to so here is the cheat code if you build an account up to let's say 20 or 30k followers you can get at least 50 percent of those don't even know the model has an OnlyFans. They don't know that. They know they followed her somewhere because of some Instagram reel, but they don't know she has an OnlyFans. We see that all the time. They message the model, hey, do you have an OnlyFans? When the link is literally in her bio, yes, they are that retarded. You have to imagine that. So what you wanna do is have some kind of cycle where you post like four or five Instagram stories a day on the account and just convert every single follower one by one to an OnlyFans subscriber. And you don't do that by just posting, hey, I have an OnlyFans and I'm gonna do this and that for 80% off and you have to see my pussy there, yeah, yeah. Don't do it like that, don't be aggressive, don't be like that. But what you can do is just post like one normal story in the gym, one of her breakfast, one of her dog, one of her in the city, and then in the evening when she's laying alone in bed, post a story like in lingerie, whatever, and say, yeah, I'm lonely, I wanna talk to some people, join my secret site over this link. So one out of five stories is in the promo, but you build it up by the story cycle. So people get interested and getting used to watching your stories. And by that, especially if you have very, very high follower accounts on the account, you will convert 10 times the people to OnlyFans than you would have before. So make use of the strategy. And if that's not enough, join the 100% free Telegram community I've created with over 4,000 like-minded OFM agency owners where you can get all the information you need before anyone else talks about it. That being said, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.